God bless you. This is your bishop here, Bishop Gary, your servant. As promised, here I am with another short word for you. Amen. I call this one the Real Deal Holy Field. So the year was 1996. I was getting high and I was really working my way back to prison. Had got out on what's called, I did 10 years in the army, lost everything. Uh, went to went, got an eight-year prison sentence. They let me out on what's called shock probation. And uh, it was 1996. I did 10 years in the Army. And like I say, probably was, was, was on my way back to prison. I call this the real deal Holyfield. So Evander Holyfield was set to fight Iron Mike Tyson. So at the time, I had a relationship with God, or so I thought. I mean... I could remember back before everything happened in my life that when I was in the army, I was praying things was happening only to realize that God really was answering the prayers of other people that was praying for me because I really didn't have a clear knowledge of who God was. I, I know now what I had was a form of godliness. In the Bible, the book of 2 Timothy um, 3 and 5 reads, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Wow. Let me put some weight on this and get through this really quick. I like to let this be like 10 minutes or less. This may even be shorter. So we're talking about 2 Timothy 3 and 5 reads, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. We're talking about people that confess that they know God and in most cases, they claim to be Christians, but their ungodly actions speak louder than their words. They can't resist the littlest of sin. They crave sin more than they crave God. Their behavior is more like the devil than it is God. We're talking about having a form of godliness. We're talking about acting like you know God, but your actions don't line up to that. You basically live in a lie. So in 1996, Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson were scheduled to fight. Who remembers this fight? Does anybody remember? It? I'll never forget it because Evander Holyfield came in the room ring. I don't remember the color of the robe. I know now know today it was purple, but I do remember what he had inscribed on this robe. He had the inscription Philippians 4.13. And I remember going to get a Bible and look that scripture up. And I remember knowing Oh, he going to win. Philippians 4, 13 is a famous scripture. You hear people say it all the time. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Mike Tyson, he come in the ring like he always do, you know, crazy. And he had, this time he had a whole big entourage with him, all his crazy friends. They was cussing, saying all kinds of stuff. They was making a big deal out of this fight because nobody believed Holyfield could win. Holyfield had already guaranteed everybody he ran into that he was going to beat Mike Tyson. Matter of fact, he bet all his money on himself. People was laughing at him. But I always remember back what he had on his robe. Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Nobody believed, not the doctors, the specialists, uh, that he could win. Even the hip-hop people was all betting against um Holyfield, all the gangsters and, the, the, you know, the who's who people came in town wearing their big hats, their suits. They was betting all their money on Mike Tyson. Evander Holyfield was an 18 to 1 underdog. 47 out of 48 sports writers had Holyfield losing the fight. Philippian 4 and 13 simply says, I can do all things through Christ. Who strengthens me? Not myself, not somebody else, not what I thought was a relationship with God through Christ. That's what he had on his robe. I remember watching that fight. I remember seeing his robe and I remember thinking he going to win just because of what I had on his robe. I believe then faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. See, I had a belief in God. I just didn't know anything about Jesus. I didn't know what it meant to have the strength of Christ inside me. I didn't know what it meant to be able to do all things 
because it's Christ who strengthens me. Tyson May said stuff like this. He was like, uh, before the fight, what should I do when I knock him out? Sprinkle him with holy water. You know, he was making a joke at Holyfield's name. And the thing about that is Holyfield never did no trash talking or none of that. He remained confident and humble the whole time. See, they got a little past, too. If you read back, they had it during the Olympics when they was training together and stuff. They ran into each other a couple of times. And Tyson was 17. Holyfield was 21. He tried to bully Tyson. It didn't work out. But anyway, Holyfield remained quiet, confident. See, Holyfield had the power of God behind him. Without God, we can do nothing. But with God, with God, all things are possible. Holyfield upset Mike Tyson in the 11th round. TKO. Holyfield said to all the people that he said that all the people that said he couldn't win just gave him the boost he needed to keep going. See, because he said he trusted God. And later he went back and thanked everybody that didn't believe in him. Huh. How many of y'all know it's some people out right there right now that don't believe in you? It's some people that are betting against you right now. It's some people saying that what you're trying to do ain't going to work. But I guarantee you, if you get a relationship with God, you get Christ behind it. It don't matter what the psychologists say, what the doctors say, the psychiatrists. They done diagnosed you with complete failure. They done said you ain't going to never amount to nothing. That's a lie from the pits of hell because through God, through Jesus Christ, you can do all things because it's Jesus who strengthens you. So today, I just wanted to tell you, God bless you. If you're getting this, that means that I'm thinking about you. You on my list. And if you are not saved, please pick up the phone and call me. Don't worry about it. I'll go no soon enough. And we're going to talk about it. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there.